We know you're excited for 5 o'clock tonight when outdoor seating is possible in Queen Anne's County. And we have the people at Bridges behind us showing you how they're making it safe for you. But before you go out tonight, we want Joe Sahaki from the Department of Emergency Services and Mike Moon, the General Manager of Bridges, to tell you what it's going to look like. So Bridges is obviously one of the locations that can open this evening for outdoor dining. There are still restaurants here in Queen Anne's County that are not able to open for outdoor dining. Those restaurants can do carry out and delivery options as they have been doing. It's important to remember that while you are at these restaurants, you are to maintain a six foot of social distance at all times. Masks are not required while eating. However, if you get up to leave the restaurant, it's important that you place your face mask back on prior to leaving and potentially coming in contact contact with individuals that are not from your household. When you are seated at these tables, try to keep less than six people seated at the tables at all times. And again, make sure you're using clean utensils and not interacting too much with other patrons. It's important that you stay safe while enjoying your outdoor dining experience. Our staff is extremely excited to be back to work and taking care of our local uh, diners on the island. We're currently setting up the restaurant with uh, all the social distancing protocols in place. And we're actually going a little bit further than what the recommendations are because we have such a nice uh, outdoor space here at the restaurant. So rather than six feet apart um, from table to table, we're doing just a little bit more than that. So you're actually six feet apart plus. So, you know, on average about eight, eight feet distance between tables. Um, we have unrestricted airflow um, out here on the Narrows and it's, uh, you know, a gorgeous place to be dining out of doors. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, health safety, any, any kind of measures you guys are putting in place tonight? Absolutely. Um, prior to uh, the closure, we were doing uh, daily health checks um, ahead of the curve. Um, so we're still doing that. Um, employees are encouraged to always stay home when they're in our industry if they're not feeling well or they're, they're sick in any way. Um, we're also you know, having all the PPE that's required and some beyond. Um, all of our employees are masked at all times and they're gloved at all times, um, from our kitchen staff to our dishwashers, our hosts. Um, most of the items that you'll be receiving are intended for single use, so you'll be getting paper menus. Um, you'll be getting items um, only on request if you need them so that we can also reduce waste and be more uh, friendly to our environment. And what would you like to say to the people that have been supporting the business and ready to come out tonight? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we love all of our customers here at Bridges and um, it's quite an emotional experience to uh, be gone and away from them for three months. So uh, coming back and them choosing to dine with us the first night of the opening of restaurants means more to us than they can imagine. If you have any more questions before you go outside for your dining experience tonight, please head to governor.maryland.gov and go to his executive orders to get more information. To stay updated on all the information, be sure to follow our social media accounts for the most accurate and up-to-date information.